Hey everyone, if you're a student or researcher, you know the struggle, right? You find the perfect research paper for your work, click the link and bam, paywall. You need to pay or have special university access, which not everyone has. Now many people know about websites like Sci-Hub, which try to give free access to paid papers. But let's be honest, sometimes Sci-Hub doesn't work or you might be looking for other options. Finding these papers for free can be tricky, and yes, there are debates about whether it's right or wrong. But it's also really helpful, especially for young researchers or those without expensive journal subscriptions. So today, I want to show you some alternatives to Sci-Hub, different websites, and even a browser tool that can help you find the research papers you need. Some are more direct, some help find legally free versions. Let's explore. To find a specific paper on these platforms, you usually need one of three things. The paper's title, the DOI number, that unique code most papers have, the URL or web link to the paper's official page. Okay, let's take one example paper that normally costs money. We'll see if Sci-Hub finds it first, just as a comparison. First up is a well-known site called Library Genesis or Libgen. You can find the link in the description. When you get here, make sure you select articles if you're looking for research papers. Then, paste in the title or DOI of the paper you want. Show pasting the example DOI title. Hit search. It found our paper. Now, you'll see different links called mirrors to download it. Sometimes, the first one works. Sometimes you need to try another. Okay, that one didn't work this time. Let's try another. There we go. This mirror worked. Maybe using Sci-Hub's help behind the scenes. So, Libgen can be a good first stop. Next is academia.edu.ed. This site is more like a social network for researchers. You usually need to sign up for a free account. Once you're logged in, Search for your paper. Now, academia often shows you the paper and lots of related articles or presentations by researchers. So, you need to look carefully at the details, authors, title, maybe page count, to make sure you found the exact paper you need. It's good for finding related stuff too. ResearchGate is another popular site where researchers share their work. ResearchGate works in a couple of ways. Sometimes, the author has uploaded a free-to-read version directly, maybe an open access copy. Like here, we found a link to access this paper freely, which is great. Other times, if there's no free version available directly, ResearchGate might give you an option to request full text from the author. You'd click that, maybe write a short message about why you need the paper for your research, and the request goes to the author. If they agree, they can send it to you via the platform. So, it's a different approach. Sometimes more direct with the author. Okay, here's another really important place to look, especially for newer research. Preprint servers. What are these? Well, before researchers publish their final paper in a journal after peer review, they often upload an early version called a preprint to sites like these. BioRxCV often pronounced bioarchive, is very popular for biology and life sciences, while rxcv.org, just archive, is huge for physics, math, computer science, and more. The great thing is, papers on these servers are usually free to access, so how do you use them? You can go directly to these websites and search using the paper, title, or author names. Sometimes, even if the final published version is behind a paywall, you can find a very similar preprint version here for free. Just remember one thing. Preprints usually haven't gone through the formal peer review process yet. So, while they give you early access to research, read them with that in mind, they might change before final publication. But they are an incredibly valuable resource. Okay, this last one is different again. It's a browser extension called Unpaywall. You add this free extension 
to your Chrome or Firefox browser. Now, watch what happens when I go to the official publisher page for our paid example paper. You just click the green lock. And boom, you get access to the paper. Now sometimes the lock icon will be gray. If it's gray, it means Unpaywall couldn't find a free version for that specific paper and you might need to try other methods or use institutional access. So, to quickly recap, if Sci-Hub isn't working or you want alternatives, based on trying our example paper, Libgen, ResearchGate, and the Unpaywall extension seemed quite effective as Sci-Hub alternatives for this specific case. But, it's important to be realistic. Even with all these different websites and tools, there will still be some papers you just can't find or access for free. Sometimes, none of these methods work for a very specific or very new paper, and the only way might be through your university library's official access or by purchasing it directly. Now, remember, using sites like Sci-Hub or Libgen to get around paywalls is legally and ethically complex. Tools like ResearchGate or Unpaywall focus on finding legally available free copies. The best way is always through your university or library subscription, if you have one. But these alternatives exist and are widely used by researchers who face access barriers. What do you use when you can't access a paper? What do you use? Did I miss any good preprint servers or tools? Let me know your experiences in the comments below. If this video was helpful, please give it a like. Subscribe for more tips for researchers and students and maybe share it with others who might find it useful. Thanks for watching, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.